Hi there everyone, it's Amanda here, welcome to my channel. Today I have a new card for you that is inspired in a card that Laura Bassett made not long ago. And I assume you know who she is, she's one of the best card makers out there. And she made a bus shaped card. The moment I saw it, I knew I had to make one for my kid because he loves cars and buses and anything that has wheels. So it was his birthday and I thought it was the perfect occasion. So what I did is I masked the word school because this is not going to be a school bus and I'm going to color it in red because our buses are red. Once I'm done with everything, I will also add some lights. So let's make the lights for this bus. You can see that I die cut two more shapes. One is going to be the car base and the other one is for the circuit. So I'm not using TV Tronics as you can see, but I highly recommend getting some because it makes everything much easier. However, I didn't have any, also no time to order and I had to do something with what I had on hand, which is some conductive silver paint 
mini LED lights and a flat battery. You can also see that I made a house for the battery. It's just a piece of paper to keep the battery there and also to connect the positive and the negative. I really hope you can see in the video what I'm doing because I have no idea how to explain this because I actually don't know what I'm doing. And uh, I can just only tell you that you need two ways, positive and negative, and the LED lights need to touch both sides. And also, of course, the uh, battery needs to be touching the positive with the positive and the negative with the negative. However, I hope you understand with the video. If you don't, please ask me in the comments below and I will try to answer to your questions. Now I'm going to glue the LED lights and it's very important to glue them very well and tight to make sure that they will be touching the silver paint. And it works, so now we are going to secure the battery using foam tape but we need to add two layers of foam tape to make sure that the lights won't be on all the time, only when you touch on the battery. However, in this case, I actually needed three layers, but I was too lazy and instead I just added a little bit of foam right next to the battery, which was not a very good idea and I will show you why later. So if you need three layers, just don't be lazy and make three layers. And here you can see why I should have made three layers instead of that piece of foam. So it looks horrible, but my three-year-old doesn't care. He's just amazed by the bus and the lights. And that's the card for today. I'm going to leave the link to Laura Basson's video in the description below so you can see what she did. And I will also leave there all the supplies. So I hope you liked it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye!